Katie Hoopers and a random here for another one trick a day. Today we're going to be doing a one-handed smear. If you're familiar with the smear, it's actually one of my favorite tricks. I think it looks really cool. You can speed it up. You can slow it down and reverse it. Definitely one of my favorite tricks go into the barrel roll it's really cool or revol revolving door anyway so the one-handed smear is working more off of momentum you're kind of moving your hand into this circular motion hitting it in the small of your back just like with your two-handed smear then you're putting it into this crevice here to spin it around your body, get it back to the front, and then you're going to let the hoop go over your hand, going over your hand, and then you're catching it again with that small, this little crevice here. So when we get better at this trick, it will look a lot better, but I really feel like the momentum helps the trick and also keeping it close as close to your body as possible just like with two-handed smears keeping it close to your body makes it look amazing it's gonna be the same with the one-handed smear just haven't quite nailed that motion yet but that's okay we'll get there I'll get there with you um, what will help is the momentum motion, you're starting with your thumb at the top of the hoop, and then you're moving it to where your pinky is going to be at the top of the hoop when you're spinning it around the body. And remember, your hand is really doing most of the work. Your hoop is going to want to move in this direction if you've got the momentum going. It's just a matter of keeping it close and tight to your body, which, as you can see, I'm still having trouble with. But... I think once we nail it, like I said, it's gonna look awesome. It's one of those things you can reverse and do with both hands. And I'm excited to get it down. I hope you are too. Thank you for joining me tonight. Have a good one.